Hey everybody. Well, on this uh, video, I am going to go over the first part of the respiratory system, which is the upper respiratory system or the upper respiratory tract. In the previous video, I did an overview, which you see here over my right shoulder. Okay, so let's uh, start with this model here. Okay. Upper respiratory tract. All right, so let's, uh, first of all, we have our, our nose. Okay, our nose is gonna take in that air, right, through these nostrils. And then the air is gonna go here through these channels, okay? Now, I would like to show you another model for this. It's supposed to be our, our nose here, okay, and our eyes. And then when we open up this model here, okay, we're gonna see these, uh, structures inside um, on this right side you're going to have this uh, perpendicular plate is going to be able to divide the nasal cavity into to a left and right halves but uh, and also what you'll notice on this half here you see the olfactory nerves and these olfactory nerves eventually are going to go up and it's going to go through a structure you see in the skull it's called the cribriform plate. So the olfactory nerves go through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone, and then the olfactory nerves will go to the olfactory centers. So also what we can do on this half, olfactory nerves. Also what we can see here is we can see the frontal sinuses. Now there's gonna be a, a bunch of little sinuses, and the sinuses are gonna, are gonna contain mucus, and that mucus is gonna go down into your nasal um, cavity. And, um, and then that mucus can be able to trap any kind of bacteria or debris. Okay, um, I have a book here. here. You see some diagrams of the different sinuses. Here you have the frontal sinus. Over here you have the ethmoid sinus. Here you have the phenoid sinus and then the maxillary sinus. Okay. So those are your different sinuses that release mucus and um, and then that mucus in exchange in, in turn can be able to to trap that bacteria okay all right so let's go back to this one here here we have the superior nasal concha the middle nasal concha and inferior nasal concha and what these conchas do they're like shelf like projections that face immediately on either side three of them it's made up of bone and in between you're gonna have these canals so the air is gonna go through your nostril and then through these canals which are called meatus and that's gonna allow the air to to, to to increase in speed so that air can go quickly down to your final destination which is the alveoli where this gas exchange and these conchas are what allow these meatuses to be created. Okay. Here you see the olfactory nerves, okay, going through the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. Here you see the frontal sinus, sphenoid sinus. Lateral to the superior nasal concha is the ethmoid sinus. Okay. So the conchas, you have the superior nasal concha, the middle nasal concha, and inferior nasal concha. And in the meatus, you can say superior meatus, middle meatus, and inferior nasal meatus. Okay, so the air is going to go, and this is all the nasal cavity in here. So the air is going to continue here to the internal nares, and eventually here to the nasal pharynx, which contains the pharyngotympanic tube, auditory tube, or eustachian tube. And this tube is going to go directly up to your middle ear, okay? And it's going to relieve pressure, release pressure, especially when you're in high elevations or in, like in an airplane or in low depressions when you go diving. Okay, so that, that's our nasal cavity. So the air is going to go here to the nasal pharynx. So we're done with this one here. And then we continue with this model. So we have our superior middle inferior nasal concha, superior inferior nasal meatus. And here we have the internal nares. And the external nares is actually, if you break it down, it's external nares 
external means outside, nares means nose, so that nose outside. And the internal nares is the nose inside. Then here we have the nasal pharynx, which contains the eustachian tube. Okay. And then here we have nasal pharynx, and then we go here to the oropharynx. Nasal pharynx being near the nose, oropharynx being right behind or posterior to the oral cavity. And then we have the laryngopharynx, which is right beside the larynx. Okay, so these three pharynx, these three, this one pharynx is divided into three parts, nasal, oral, and laryngopharynx. Um, here you can see the frontal sinus and the sphenoid sinus. Sphenoid sinus being directly underneath the cella tercica, which contains the hypothesis. Okay, so there's our nasal uh, upper respiratory system and its components. All right. And then the second part will be next, which is the lower respiratory tract, a little bit more extensive. Um, so uh, make sure to check that out. All right. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye. Thank you.